Hi guys, it's your girl Steffi and today we will be talking about what is digital fashion and this is coming from a digital fashion artist perspective. I've been doing this for around three years so I do feel like I've got some knowledge to share with you guys. Let's start with a definition. Digital clothing is a virtual representation of real clothing which is made from pixels rather than textiles. In my opinion, it's more about the blend between fashion and tech. There are also two ways of making digital clothing. The first one is by scanning by your phone or using a camera. The second way is building it from scratch using a program such as Clo3D and Marvelous Designer. I tend to use the second option because you can 3D rig it and it's a bit more interactive compared to the first option. What you guys got to understand is due to the pandemic, a lot of us had to adapt to digital ways of life. And so digital experiences grew as we try to find more ways of connecting to each other online. Don't get me wrong, digital fashion was always here before 2020, but the pandemic really amplified it. The idea of having a digital self is not really a far future concept at all. Let me give you guys some examples of how digital fashion is currently being used. One of the oldest and most established types of digital fashion is within games. If you guys think of games such as like Fortnite or Roblox, they all have some sort of avatar that is wearing a skin or have these accessories or digital game assets they can put on top. And thanks to the improvements in 3D and in technology, our computers are able to handle a lot more intricate and complicated virtual items which we can use in these games. An example of a luxury brand taking on the game industry is Burberry and Minecraft. Burberry has collaborated with Minecraft to release a collection of in-game clothes. A playable Burberry and Minecraft universe and a range of limited edition physical garments. In the collection there were 15 digital pieces. Players can choose from 5 different looks, including t-shirts, checked scarves, sweaters adorned with Burberry logos and knee length skirts. And of course all of the items could be worn digitally. We also got Balenciaga collaborating with Fortnite. The collaboration followed the release of Afterworld, The Age of Tomorrow. It was a video game developed by Epic Games to showcase Balenciaga's Autumn Winter 2021 collection. They also gamified the fashion pieces such as the sock style speed trainers were transformed into a range of pickaxes and the brand's hourglass bag was modified to be used as a glider. And what's really interesting is that when you combine it with games dynamics, it's stuff that you can't usually do within physical fashion. So there is definitely a lot of playful spin to it. So what's really clever is that not only are these big brands, you know, partnering with these huge game engines and these games, but they're also attracting a new target market that is not necessarily into fashion. And the next example with digital fashion is in VR or in virtual worlds. Now you guys have heard of the metaverse and take that word with a pinch of salt because it currently means a lot of things but in my opinion it, it does mean like being in a virtual space, being in a virtual world. We have an example by Decentraland where they have hosted a metaverse fashion week and they had many things going on like runway shows, after parties, immersive experiences, shopping, panel talks and much more. What's really interesting is that there were about 60 brands taking part in this. But the point is, is that these brands that have participated, it shows that there is interest in this space and companies are already looking into this virtual world and testing it out. I think what's really nice about these metaverse fashion weeks is that, you know, typically for like London Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week, etc., you would have to fly to these places to see all like the, the latest parties or like fashion catwalks or whatever like events that they have there but with the metaverse fashion week you can just log onto a computer and actually see it's no matter which country you are in whether you get the same type of experiences as like physical events that's arguable i think that is for like another video but what they are trying to emulate online is a new way of working in the digital space another option of seeing digital fashion is within nft non-fungible tokens what this means is that an nft is a digital asset in this case it would be a digital fashion garments you would upload that and mint that as a token 
and people will buy this token in exchange for cryptocurrency. So essentially they're buying the ownership of it and they can choose whether to buy, to keep it, to sell it and it becomes an asset. The difference with an NFT is that your ownership of the digital product is registered on the blockchain and because you are the owner you can sell it on or you can keep it just how you would with like a designer handbag or with an artwork. This is personally how I use digital fashion. I always create an NFT and I sell them currently as artworks. I really do believe in the space and the technology, but I will save that for another video because NFT itself or digital fashion and NFTs are just a whole big topic. There's also platforms or digital fashion platforms where you guys can sell and upload your NFT. There are digital fashion platforms such as Dematerialize, The Fabricant and Artisans where you guys can buy and sell on their marketplace and trade digital fashion NFTs. Not only that, but they they also encourage individual creators to create their own digital fashion pieces and upload it onto their sites as creators. That means people like you and me, people who are learning digital fashion, we can go onto these platforms and just start selling our works via these platforms. The last example of how digital fashion is being used is within augmented reality. We have brands like DressX and Zero Ten currently pioneering the AR digital fashion space. The way that it works is option one, you upload a photo and then the digital fashion piece will be like photoshopped on top of your photo. And the second option is by using augmented reality, which is you would use a camera and point it to someone and it will body track, you know, your body and then it will overlay the digital fashion piece on top. I've had the pleasure of working with Zero Ten and DressX and both are really good apps to try out. If you guys haven't tried wearing digital fashion then maybe have a look at their apps and test it out yourself. So Steffi, what do you do in the digital fashion space? I do many things and I've tried also many things. I've tried AR, that's the first one, I collaborated with Zero Ten. I've worked with DressX and I've got my online collection on DressX. I also mint NFTs. So a lot of my digital fashion pieces are NFT pieces. And I suppose me being active in the digital fashion space has led me onto working with client projects and also being in my own Dell advert because of digital fashion. So that's a snapshot of what I have achieved within digital fashion for the past two to three years. And lastly, I'm trying to build my own digital fashion brand, whatever that means, because right now the industry is still so new, but I'm trying to build a name for myself within the space and have my own designs being recognizable. If you guys want to know more about that, maybe there will be a future video on what I actually do in my career as a digital fashion artist. I also wanted to give you guys some recommendations from the top of my head of digital fashion brands that I really respect or that I admire. I'm so sorry if I don't get everyone on this list, but these are the people that I can think of at the moment. You guys should definitely check out The Fabricant, Institute of Digital Fashion, Ouroboros, Skiva, Aurore, Artifacts, Blanc de Blanc, Henville Paneda, this outfit does not exist. And of course, my works too. I think what is really interesting is that there are many individual artists, many individual brands that are not coming from these big fashion houses. So we all got a different viewpoint and we all got a different starting place, which is really nice because at the moment, anyone can just get into digital fashion as long as you have a computer. I hope this video has helped you guys understand a little bit more about digital fashion. If you guys got any questions about my workflow, about what I do as a digital fashion artist, or just in general about digital fashion, then put it in the comments below. Make sure to check out my Discord, Twitch streams, and Patreon, and I will see you guys in the next video. So you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I've got a few channels for you guys if you guys wanna like stay in touch, know the latest updates. We've got Discord, check it out. I have my own personal one and I've got a 3D educational one as well. I also do live streams on Twitch. So if you guys want to see the process live, then make sure to come every Thursday to my live streams. And I also have a Patreon, yes. If you guys want to get more advice or tips on the digital fashion industry, or if you guys want to get technical tips on actually how to make digital fashion, then my Patreon is the place to be at. And these are some videos that YouTube thinks you might like, so make sure to check them out.